anybody in your church? Rushford Lutheran, uh, the church that I serve is called Emmanuel Lutheran. Um, why do they call your church Rushford Lutheran? Because it's in Rushford. I mean, that's like an easy one, right? Emmanuel Lutheran, well, it's not in Emmanuel, although Emmanuel means God with us, right? So Emmanuel Lutheran, Rushford Lutheran, have you ever heard of a church by the name of Wind and Fire? <coughs> In Rochester, there's a church named Wind and Fire. What do you think that means? <coughs> Is Wind and Fire good? <coughs> well, it can be. Or it can be bad, right? Uh, wind and Fire is what we hear about on Pentecost Sunday. Because the word for wind is breath and Holy Spirit. So in the Bible, when you hear wind, when you hear breath, you hear Holy Spirit, right? And that's a good wind. That's a wind from God, right? So this church in Rochester called Wind and Fire, they're a Pentecost church. But Rushford Lutheran is a Pentecost church. And Emmanuel Lutheran is a Pentecost church. That just simply means that God has given us the wind and fire of the Holy Spirit. Because on Pentecost, there were tongues of fire resting on the heads of all the church people. And there was a mighty rushing wind. Did you guys have any bad weather here last Tuesday? You know that? In Rochester, we had a thunderstorm, tornado watch, and we had a mighty rushing wind. I don't think it was the Holy Spirit. But it was a storm, right? And, and all of a sudden, I picked up the paper and it said, you see what this says in the headlines? Dad, the roof is gone. Well, you know, you can have wind that can create power and energy, like those great big wind tur turbines. Or you see the fans blowing up here so that it's circulating the air around? That could be good, right? But in Rochester on Tuesday, there was really big, strong winds. And this one gentleman, he said, I was down by Menards and I was headed home, and I looked up at the hill where my house was, and all of a sudden I saw this circulating clouds, and there was like a big noise, and there was movement. And all of a sudden his son called him on the phone, and he said, Dad, the roof is gone. And one of the neighbors said he watched his tree, and it was a big cedar tree. And he saw it literally by that wind, it was being twisted until it exploded. So wind and fire can be good, like for Pentecost people and Pentecost Sunday, but it can also be destructive too, can it? And in the Bible, Jesus said, remember how John the Baptist told you that he was baptized with water? But you're going to be baptized with wind and fire. So you've got the Holy Spirit. And why do you think God would give you the mighty rushing wind? Well, maybe so you could make noise. And so you could move and breathe. Yeah, without the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be able to breathe the faith of Jesus and the gift of eternal life. You need the Spirit, right? Yeah. So He's going to move you, and He's going to make some noise through you. The kind of noise when you tell people about Jesus. Let's pray together. We'll have the big kids out there help us too. I'll say a couple of words, and you repeat it, okay? Let's pray together. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus. thanks for the wind and fire. Thanks for the wind. Move me, and use me to make noise, in your name. Amen. Thanks for coming up.